Hey, this is Andrew Brown. In this video, I want to uh, see if we can use drift detection. So what we'll do in our uh, cloud formation, uh, I'm just gonna make a new one here called drift detection. And so I need something to deploy. Um, I'm trying to think of something a little bit more complex than something simple. So maybe what we can do is grab, oh, uh, I'm trying to decide here. Maybe a load balancer. Load balancer is probably a good example. So somewhere in here, we've utilized load balancers, ELB, down below here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these two. And I'm going to go and paste it into drift detection. And I'm just going to update this to be um, drift detection. Drift detection. I'll just put drift here. Okay, and so I'm gonna CD into this one here and we'll go ahead and deploy it. Of course, if you need to swap out what you need to swap out, I believe mine's already configured for CS Central 1 uh, in my default VPC. So whatever you need to do, swap these out, but you'd swap out the, the VPC, the AMI, the subnet, subnet. At this point, you should know how to do that. Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and deploy the stack. I'm gonna make my way over to here and I'm going to accept that stack, and then we will wait for that to finish deploying, and then we will see uh, uh, if we can detect drift. All right, so our ALB is deployed, and so in here, we should be able to do drift detection. This is something that you'd do via the UI, so it's not uh, something programmatic. But over here, we should have drift detection up here, so we can see view drift results. And right now, notice that nothing has changed, so everything is fine. And if we go to uh, detect drift, uh, we can manually invoke it to ask if anything has changed and uh, then we can view our drift results but nothing has changed as of yet so let's go ahead and fiddle with it so like our alb um, so we'll go over to ec2 here and i'm going to go down to our load balancer and the thing is that i think it's only going to watch properties that have changed so if we don't have a property set here it's not going to know that it's changed at least i don't think so but I'm gonna go over here. And first, what I wanna do is go to our load balancer, go to actions, and see what we can edit. Edit load balancer attributes. So that's like I like toggle maybe HTTP off, or change the packet mode to strictest, or this to preserve. Um, and so I'm clearly changing things, right? But would it know that I've made any of those changes? And that's the question here. So let's see if we can detect any drift. And notice that it is not detecting any drift. Oh, nope, it has. Wait, hold on. Nope, it's all in sync. So what I'm saying is like, I don't think it can detect things that are not properties that you're not changing on here. But let's go ahead and um, change something that it will definitely notice. And what we'll do is we will maybe change uh, one of the HTTP listeners. So if we go over to here, into our target groups, and we checkbox on this, we go to targets. Um, we'll just edit, edit here, edit, edit the, uh, no, sorry, the uh, listeners, listeners. That's what I want to change here. We'll go to listeners here and I'm going to manage the rules and edit them. Maybe we can add a rule, another rule. And we will, I guess, add a condition. And we'll just say if host header is W or like, hello, I'm just putting anything in here. Dot example.com. It takes that confirm. There we go. Next, next. Uh, we'll just say return first response. There's some stuff in there. We'll hit, oh man, really making this hard on me. Next, create. And so now we have changed the listener rule. So I'm assuming that because we've added a listener, it should definitely see that change. And so we'll click detect. Uh, drift. What if we uh, click on a specific one? And it doesn't seem like it's noticing anything. Yeah, it still says it's in sync. So what is it going to take for it to know that something is there? Because we've added something. Hmm. So again, I think it's properties that it has set in here. So if we go and take a look here. Yeah, we have our listener. Uh, what if we can't change the port? I think it defaults on 80, but we could try. And I'll go back over to 
here, and this one is set to 80. What if we change this to 81? Will it let us do that? Yeah, it did. Okay, great. And so now I'm, I'm thinking maybe then it will detect it. So we'll try this again. And it's still not detecting any drift. That is frustrating. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to maybe take down the web server. I didn't say this is a great service. I just was saying that it can detect drift. But let's go ahead and actually... Uh, delete or terminate our EC2 instance. Because it's not going to spin up another one. There's no ASG involved in here, so uh, it shouldn't do that. And so now that is gone. And we'll go ahead and detect drift again. And now it says that it's drifted. Okay, great. So what has drifted is the question. Give us a refresh here. Okay, so it did notice the modification there. It seems like it was a bit delayed, but notice that it, it hasn't noticed that the web server is gone. So we'll just wait a little while here. Maybe we're just being impatient. All right, let's, let's take a look here again and see what happens. So um, that web server is definitely gone, <laughs> but hey, at least it detected something. Um, but the point is that this one is definitely gone to detect drift for resource. Like, How does it not know that it's not there? Yeah, well, there we go. I had to specifically tell it which resource. Um, this is modified. It's actually deleted. So, yeah, I mean, there you go. That is a drift detection. Um, not the best service, but at least it kind of does something. We'll go ahead and delete that. Uh, and we'll call this a wrap-up here. We'll say drift detection. Okay, and uh, we'll wait for that to delete. I'll be back here if it deletes or not. Just because we deleted the web server, it might get confused. So I just want to make sure that it deletes successfully here on video. All right, so that teared down without issue. So I'll see you in the next one. Okay, ciao.